Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for following. Uh, could you please like and subscribe? And uh, this is just a quick update of my recumbent trike build. Uh, at the moment, um, I've just recently done the chain guide. Uh, and I'm kind of working on the seat as well. Uh, with this seat, I want it to be more or less adjustable. Um, more or less like use a tilting mechanism uh, so I'll just quickly show you the chain guide I mean it's not finished yet but uh, it's still a work in progress but it's nearly there okay so if we come over here <clears throat> so that's the front chain guide uh, to hold the main chain basically it's a bracket uh, let's see if you can see it uh, I took a, a rear derailleur, chopped it in half, and fabricated fabricated a bracket, so so that it kind of uh, more or less bolts on to the existing uh, bolt for my suspension. Uh, so all I'm just left to do is to find a tube uh, for this other chain, and the chain basically it's. Um, about four different chains from different bikes all linked up and uh, if we do this uh, K110 <laughs> because it's got a glove on there so if I just quickly give you a quick demonstration uh, if we lift it there you go everything is pedaling nicely all it is is just this chain here that's just a bit loose so I'll take care of that I'm not in a rush anyway that's gonna be that's gonna be the easiest part so now for the seat okay the game the game plan for the seat is I've made this bracket um, which more or less because uh, I think this is a drinks holder cage or something like that so I took a piece of uh, steel then this will sit like that and bolt on and this mechanism here is the bit which goes in the back of your bike uh, seat so this allows you to sort of move the seat back and forth uh, hang on yeah so it allows you to move the seat back and forth on these rails here there's two there's two rails but then what that does as well is actually allow you to adjust the angle of the seat so you can move the seat back and forth but then at the same time adjust the angle then for the backrest um, <laughs> I'm still toying with this idea uh, of um, more or less using the handlebars and the bike stem then this just bolts onto the uh, this bolts onto the back of the uh, uh, backrest because uh, I'll, I'll just quickly show you the backrest that I'm using um, but this will bolt on there so it will allow you to more or less do this tilt it back and forth yeah so all it is is oh, on, let's see if I can get this off all it is is just the old bike stem goes in there then voila you know so to actually tighten it and keep it in place I'll use the mechanism which they use uh, to keep the handlebars stationary so the seat that I'm using uh, this is the bottom part of it uh, this is from one of those um, office is it office chairs with the mesh and uh, so I'll need to trim and adjust that so that it fits my width and is not too big. And I'm still toying around with keeping the armrest as well. I'll figure out how to actually incorporate that in my chair design. Because I want to be able to chill out and put my arms at rest and all that. Now here is the back rest. Uh, let me just take, bring this out so that you can actually have a look at it in clear light. <clears throat> So 
so that's going to be my backrest let's see if we can get a check that out and this goes up and down as well so the idea is hang on let's put this back in uh, on the original chair you've got these mounting brackets uh, which mount this bit to that bit so I think what I'm going to do is make a bracket uh, like a bracket which goes there and there and weld it onto there so that you just screw it on but I mean obviously this is a bit higher than than the other bit so I mean I'll just have to figure out actually it's not too bad yeah because if you look at where the brackets are and I can fabricate something that can go there so this will allow you to do this you know if it's on there it will allow you to tilt back and forth uh, sorry guys that like you know I mean I kind of seem to sprint ahead and do a bit of few jobs rather than show you the whole process but like I said before it's like you know most of these things uh, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing so I'm figuring out as I'm going along and seeing what works because uh, I'm not actually following a specific bl blueprint it's just stuff off my head so like this man I'm well chuffed about this if it works actually it will work because it's a very very simple process you know just get some rods ideally I think I might have some nicely extended ones or even just take this because the amount of movement is more than enough you know or straighten this bit and just figure out where you're actually mounting that to the bottom of the chair uh, then I'll, I'll be able to glide the chair back and forth you know what I mean rather than having it to be having it uh, in a fixed position anyway guys um, let me just get back to work and do a few few bits and see if I can get more done today and I'll keep you guys posted uh, please click subscribe and like and uh, don't forget to press the notification buttons uh, thanks again for your continued support cheers